Hey Houston, it's Mary with Around H-Town with Simple Elegance and today I'm so excited to have Deborah Phillips of EXP Realty with us in Magnolia. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Excited to be here. It's so good to have you and Deborah. Okay, everybody has a journey. Oh yes. We don't ever get right into what we're doing right now. There's a story <laughs> beforehand. What's your story? Well, I started actually I've only been a realtor for two years. Um, okay. I started in 2019, right before the pandemic. Uh, but before that, I worked in the IT industry as a recruiter, and then I did um, solution sales for Microsoft mm -hmm. for many years. And then I got out and stayed at home because I had twins at the age of 39 and 41. Another little surprise came along. So I am a mom of three daughters. I was home for about seven years, and when they got into kindergarten and first, I was like, what am I gonna do all day? <laughs> so that, that spring before I knew they were going yeah. into kindergarten and first, I was like, let me get on the stick and get through real estate school. I went in two weeks and one day through real estate school. Oh my school. gosh. Now, and did you go to Champion? I did. Okay. I went to the Champion uh -huh. School of Real Estate. I loved it, had a great experience, and the rest is history, really. I, I tested and I started with EXP right away, and oh, I've been did? there ever okay. since. Okay, now yes. what brought, what kind of pulled you to EXP? Well, I, it was so funny because they came on the very last day of the test prep class, okay. and so <laughs> I kind of slid in there after they did their presentation because my, one of the ladies at the house with my girls uh, got there late, so I didn't even hear their presentation. And I filled out something, I turned it in because they were doing a giveaway. Mm -hmm. And then the lady called me and, um, you know, we, we spoke and we had a good connection and I liked what they had to say. And then I said, she said, do you want to come to like a lunch and learn event? And I was like, well, okay, you know, went to that. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, is this like, could this be true? You know, because they have a lot to offer that I had, I had not heard of with mm -hmm. other brokerages that I had been speaking with. I had already gone and met with all of the other brokerages okay. and done a lot of interviews prior and so I already kind of had my mind set on one, um, and this one just came out of left field. And you know what I thought? I thought to myself, okay, I can either go with this one, and if it isn't great, <laughs> then I can always go to a traditional brokerage. If it's not what they really say yeah, it is, Yeah, right? that's what yeah. I said. Yeah, uh -huh. I thought to myself, you know, if this is not all it's cracked up to be, well then, you know, I'll just go to one of the other ones because right. I have a strong sales background. And so that was already, you know, in place and they were all excited to welcome me at their brokerage, right? But then this one came up and I just thought, well, okay, let me see what, how this goes. And boy, it's been amazing. It's been a really fun experience. There's, um, you know, EXP is unique because it's a cloud brokerage. Mm -hmm. And so you, you know, you have a lot of autonomy, a lot of freedom to do what you know how to do. And it's really, really good for people that are very independent and business and, you know, minded and also um, entrepreneurial, you know. Right. And so if you're driven, I mean, you can really kill it, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. with this kind of a, a brokerage setup. But um, I think I would have probably been almost limited in some ways in going with another brokerage uh -huh. because I am so driven and, you know, focused on my own, you know, path. I also have focused um, on the Patriot community, so that was really my focus, was my parents were both educators. Uh -huh. um, my dad was a coach and then a principal, and my mom was a teacher for 40 years mm -hmm. um, in uh, Spring ISD. And so, you know, just growing up in the area and, and seeing, you know, the way, you know, the regular old folks get treated sometimes and knowing what's going on in this community, mm -hmm. um, I just thought, you know what, that's who I wanna serve and that's who I wanna give back to. And so. I'm so blessed because I have a husband who has a great career and has been there for 25 years at his company. And so, you know, him being in a position that he's in and giving us that kind of freedom and flexibility for me to kind of treat real estate almost like, you know, charitable work, really. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what I've been able to do is just, you know, seek out and serve, you know, certain groups of folks. And I mean, everything from firefighters, um, first responders, teachers, healthcare professionals, um, people that are working in uh, law enforcement, um, and and then veterans. And mm -hmm. so, you know, yeah. just those six disciplines, I just love being able to truly serve. And then, of course, there's everyone else in America that I also love to serve, <laughs> you know. But I, I have focused quite a bit over the last two years um, in that Patriot community. I love that. You know, I actually met... Um, and I'm drawing a blank. I can totally see him. But he actually has um, 
a foundation for patriots. Oh. And his he's a realtor as well. He yeah. was in the Marines for several years and um he just has a heart, you yeah. know, and if I can help somebody out, yeah. let me help this person. I, I will get his name for you. Um I, I met him through that. Christy Stratton and um again I just I loved his heart and I love that with having your own business, mm-hmm. you decide where is That's your right. heart and take that with you, you yes. know, and serve um, everything. And the other thing that I love about EXP is their passive income stream. That's for sure. Huge. Yeah. Huge. That is totally different than any other brokerage. Um, mm-hmm. Being able to sponsor in, you know, other agents. I right. mean, we're doing real estate. That's what we yeah. do all day, every day. And, you know, by simply having someone else say, hey, I want to come to this brokerage, you can make a percentage off of their mm-hmm. sales throughout the year. Right. I mean, that's like unheard of, you know? Right. And so it's really creating your own um, extra stream of income. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I'm not their manager. I'm not their mentor. I don't have to watch what they're doing all day. They're still doing their own business right. like they would choose. Um, but just knowing that you've got that, you know, group of folks that are like-minded that are all driven that are all you know doing real estate daily and and really um you know serving well in this community is Mm -hmm. just is phenomenal so i've loved being a part of it you know for two years almost my my anniversary is uh the end of june so awesome now have you i just have to ask this have you gone to any of grant cardone's 10x oh yeah So he's, you know, definitely a big win for Spokes our brokerage. Person, yes, big, big we love him. I heard him on Clubhouse this morning talking yes. about EXP. And, oh, yeah. He's, uh-huh. he's been a great addition to the brokerage, and we just love having him. They all went down to Cabo just about three weeks ago, matter of fact. Oh, and he'll fun. be at another event um, that we're having in August with Tony Robbins, actually. Okay, okay. So that's coming up, um, and so it's going to be exciting to be with those guys. But, yeah, he pours into our – our group and you know I mean that's one of the other things about you know EXP that's been phenomenal me being a brand new agent in this Mm -hmm. market you know being able to tap into those types of resources I mean anytime if I need to get a hold of them if I need to you know ask a question so we have something called workplace in our brokerage which is Facebook basically Mm -hmm. but it's just for our brokerage and so being able to you know tap into those folks different groups that they sponsor and different kinds of things that they're doing is very unique and kind of unheard of you know when i when i was working or interviewing with these other brokerages i actually you know knew that i was going to have a deal coming into real estate Mm -hmm. and so um i was talking with each brokerage kind of in with that in the back of my mind knowing and i was trying to see how would they handle you know this type of scenario and uh just knowing you know how there was a difference there was a distinct difference because some of them you know would only let you learn a certain area because you were brand new they wanted you to do certain things before you could get kind of out into that world or they wouldn't allow you to you know only do you had to kind of prove yourself in certain ways And EXP doesn't limit any of that. They really want you to kind of blow and go Mm -hmm. and do what you need to do. They put a lot of resources into training Mm -hmm. and making sure that, you know, we have access and then we have access to our brokers at all times. And matter of fact, all of our brokers, you know, at all times, you you can obviously go into something called the world, which is also specific to our brokerage because it is a Mm cloud-based, you know, brokerage. We can tap in and um, get to them right away or we can call them of course or email text you know whatever you need to do but um it's just phenomenal having that type of uh support you know at any given time so it's not slowed me down a bit i'm i think i'm 30 transactions in in about a year so that it's a lot (laughs) yeah it's a lot and it's exciting exciting. yeah and like look at what you're doing for your family in addition you know yes your husband brings the stability yeah but you're helping to create that legacy. It's right. To send to your kids, you Amen. know. Um, Amen. I yes. had this, I had this conversation with my mom, with my husband yesterday, um, and I was like, "Honey, yes, we have done very, very well. But if I have an opportunity to grow the business in another yeah. direction, that will allow us to give even more generous." Exactly. I'm like. How is that not a win-win? It you is. Know? Exactly. Um, it's truly an opportunity. And also to show your girls. That's right. You know, how to work hard and play hard. Yes. You know, it's like. I took them on a walkthrough yesterday. Did you? I love <laughs> Might it. not be allowed to do that. But anyway, hey. Of course. You're <laughs> My just clients. You're training them. 
them. My clients were, uh, you know, friends of ours, and uh, they came through a referral, and so they were, I told them, I said, my husband's going to be on a plane, and they said, bring the girls, you know. Yeah. I said, okay. So, you know, two eight-year-olds and a seven-year-old came through the walkthrough, but, you know, just that kind of, yeah, showing them that, you know, I am a working mom, and you know how that began, really, because years ago, I remember I took the girls down to the beach in Galveston. Mm-hmm. We were driving through downtown, coming back, you know, and it was just me and the three of them in their car seats in the back. And I said, I said, Mommy used to, we were in downtown. I said, Mommy used to work in that building right there. And they go, Daddy works in a building. You know, I mean, they didn't even, like, register. I was their mom only. You know, like, I had nothing else going on. You did not exist before these girls came. I never existed. Can you believe that? It was 39 years before. Yeah, 20 years of, you know, all kinds of (laughs) professional success and, hey, nothing. But anyway, so at that point, I thought, wow, you know. And I'm too, I mean, I, I went to a and mm-hmm. you know, I have a degree. And so I started thinking, wow, okay, I'm raising three daughters, you know, mm-hmm. and I want them to understand you, you kind of um, get in this frame of mind that you can't have it all, you know, right. but you really can if you mm-hmm. choose your profession wisely. Mm-hmm. And you, I mean, in, in our world, we're blessed to be able to have some help, you know, that helps out with mm-hmm. different aspects of the family. And, you know, I mean, that's just key, you know. And so, and one of my daughters has special needs. And so being able to, you know, tap into that as well. Our twins were born uh, 10 weeks premature. They were in the NICU for 89 and 110 days. And so, you know, having um, that kind of a start, you know, is is why when I had a professional career and then that happened, that was it. You know, I mean, that was the end of that. You know, that was, I worked too hard to get them here. And I was not willing to, you know, sacrifice 50 hour work weeks Mm -hmm. in downtown in order to, you know, keep that kind of um, pace going. And so I knew I was going to take some time Mm -hmm. and then I was going to get back to it eventually. And it just was a matter of time. And so, you know, when, when the time finally came and here we are, I just, you know, I told my husband, I was like, my, my work is going to pay for their school, you know, Mm -hmm. for private. They're also, I'm also going to pay for their extracurriculars Mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. You know, I will take care of family trips and just the things that I can do to impact our family mm-hmm. um, because it is your legacy. And I want, you know, our, our combined, you know, uh, thought pattern to be on what's going to be in place for them in the future, yeah. you know. That's so. so awesome. I love that. You know, it's, I still remember I have one son and he's just, he left for um, Christ in Youth. He's working for Christ in Youth this summer. Aww. And I'm so excited for him. He left on Saturday. Wow, recent. Um, <laughs> and but like I still remember um this was on Cape Cod and um I said stopped to wor- working when after a few months after he was born and um I well I stopped working but then I became the volunteer queen. Yes. You know? Oh like, yeah. What am I going to do with all this time? That's and right. So, and I remember like being in charge of our alpha group at um church yes. and you know at once a week you serve dinner and you have small groups. Well, he was two or three, and he would set the tables with me, you know? and I'm like, I'm like, but I was training him to set a table properly, yes. and I remember he was graduate, well, he in high school here, um, they would always do at the end of the year, a graduation for, at church for the seniors, Oh yeah. and Jonathan was always in charge of setting the tables, Aww. and it came to his year, and I walked in, I'm like, Jonathan... <laughs> tables are he's like I've already talked to them mom but they are wrong <laughs> that's funny <laughs> but it's like train up your child yeah. in the way that you want and I think it's that's so right. important that they see it's not a bad thing to work no you know you could have an, an amazing career but with real estate with interior design home staging yeah. we can run businesses that right. fit around our family that's right that they can be a part of um, and that's huge to it them is. that they see that hey it's not mom goes off to a building or dad goes to a building no this is our life yeah you know and that they you know they have an interest in it i mean i've already had one of them you know talk to me about i want to do what you do one day you know and they're little they're only you know first and second grade but you know just knowing it's also feeding kind of like their interests Mm -hmm. and you know and then you know showing them that you know it's it's good to serve and it's good to you know to come up with a certain type of thing you want to serve and then you know, work hard towards that and give right. back. And right. that's really been, um, and then for them to be excited about that, mm-hmm. you know, for, yeah. for the part where you're, where you're giving back and you're serving and, 
they know, you know, that that's just part of what you're doing. Right. You know, last year we couldn't go to church so much because of COVID, right. but you could still serve, you know, by giving back to these other mm-hmm. families that were, you know, just, just basically uh, in those fields, you mm-hmm. know, that were not always, you know, thought of and rewarded, yeah. you know, in that way. And so I, I just, it was a total no brainer, you know, and, and I just so love being awesome. able to do it. I love that. You know, it, it reminds me um, at 10X this year, um, Tommy Hilfiger was there. Mm-hmm. And I, one of my jobs years ago was in Woodstock, Vermont at the Woodstock Inn. And his parents would come every summer and spend a couple of weeks there. And I just got to know them. And um, we were sitting in the bar one night. And I, um, I said, well, you know, how did you influence your son yeah. in the way that he has gone? I mean, he's kind of a $10 billion person at this point. Right. And they're like, it was his kindergarten teacher that said to us, he's extremely creative. Encourage that. Encourage. Yeah. You know, like, talk about that legacy of that um, kindergarten teacher. Yeah, right. That just gives me the chills. You I know? know. Saying, wow, she saw this way back when. And we have to be really open to, you know, how are we encouraging them? Yeah. Because one of your key the daughters interest. could yeah. be the next Tommy Hilfiger, and right. now Grant Cardone is buying his house. And I know. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know, I think he's closing <laughs> this week or something like that. That's cool. Um, and anyway, I think one of my girlfriends is staging his condo. I'm not oh, how positive, fun is so. that? But, you know, it's like all these different things. You know, how do you influence? How do you encourage? How yeah. do you set them up? Um, Grant and Elena's daughters at 10X, oh, my gosh, to hear them speak. Yeah. They are eight and ten or seven and ten yeah and I'm like I'm not sure I could do that I know know? right yeah (laughs) but it's like building in them as children yes and letting them know they can do anything right that's huge and not stifling that when they're so young still because you know when you're young you're kind of fearless Mm -hmm. you know and you really don't have any limitations Mm -hmm. I mean I have my youngest is seven and I remember when she was like a three-year-old she was in gymnastics, you know, and of course, the, and the, the lady came over to me and she's like, you know, we think that she should come, you know, and go like year round. And I was like, what? I mean, she's three years old. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, what do we know? Oh, we can tell she's going to be good. I said, well, that might just be a ploy to say that. You know, I don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. But she said, no, because she's fearless. You know, she's yeah. fearless. She runs full force. She flies herself into those pits. You know, I mean, she really has the right kind of thought. Um, that you can really, you know, curtail into a good gymnast if they, if they kept that energy and that fearless attitude, you know, and I thought, wow, that's good to know. I mean, that's interesting. You know, it's interesting that they can see that at such a young age. It's also interesting, like with one of my other ones where she's got this interest in design and building and, you know, just had, um, really, uh, uh, colors and Mm -hmm. she's artistic and she loves, you know, um, looking at like, of course, fixer upper and you know <laughs> all of these things. Yeah, home. What is it called? Home grown or whatever it's called. Home that gr- show, oh, home grown. You yeah. know which uh-huh. one I'm talking about? The Mississippi anyway, or yeah, the Mississippi like folks. Uh-huh. So she likes all of those shows. But you know, it's just so cute to to see like a, a seven year old or an eight year old sitting there watching something like that. That is, yeah. you know, really an adult show for right? the most part. But that's how God has created yes. her. That is how God has wired her. Yeah. And each one is so different. Yeah. But wired to be that the, with the purpose that that's they right. have, Is and that you don't so know cool? what she's going to get to go out and serve, know. you know. But it's but it'll be fun to see, and it's really fun to see it all unfold, you know. I love right it. before your face. <laughs> I love it. I think that is so cool. So, you've talked about um, that your primary clients are Patriot clients, yeah. And um, how do they find you, like? Well, a lot of them you... come through referral, I would think. Uh-huh. Um, you know, I've been really lucky to have some really good clients, you know, like I just closed with one this morning. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just when you have a client that, um, you know, thinks that your service is really, you know, done well and they, they like your personality. Mm-hmm. You know, I've had other ones that have come through open houses, you know, mm-hmm. for listings. Now, I had one that was really a unique setting. They had reached out to the community on the Next Door Neighbor app. Okay. okay. And um, they just put out there, does anybody know a good realtor in the area? And of course, 50 of them responded, right? And um, I was like, ooh, I'm not getting into that. You know, I was mm-hmm. pretty new still at the time. And um, I thought, wow, that's a lot of, you know, big 
uh, big dogs, you know, mm-hmm. on that list. And so I'm going to just, uh, you know, PM the person directly. And if they want me, they'll, they'll reach back out. So I did. And, um, you know, I reached out and just told him, Hey, I am Deborah Phillips. I live in the area. I live literally across the road in Thousand Oaks and I'm here to serve and I serve this community. And if you happen to be in one of these categories, I'm here to help, you know, and he called, you know, and he said, uh, I would, you know, love for you to go over and talk with my wife. And he was actually out of town. And so he was like, would you mind doing that? I said, no. And, you know, we met immediately clicked and, you know, it was just so much fun working with this couple. He was a veteran. And so, Uh, you know, when you have that kind of a unique, you know, Mm -hmm. and instant connection, um, and we're still friends to this day, they moved, we sold their house in, uh, February, well, in March of last year, mm-hmm. right? As, as the as pandemic, COVID is yeah, hitting, as it started, started that's right. Right. And, yeah. but they had a huge turnout. I mean, probably 30, I think 33 different couples came through their house wow. over a weekend and, um, they got above ask, they ended up, you know, having a great experience and then the rest is history, you know? So some other clients came out of that, which was very, um, you know, I was felt very blessed to have had that. And that's, a unique scenario I think mm-hmm. you know when they come in I always feel like when people come to an open house and they meet me I'm like a tour guide mm-hmm. you know so I'm like okay and this and that you know I'm showing them around the home mm-hmm. but I'm also telling them like why does this couple love this house you know right. why did they love living here why are they you know maybe sometimes you can't really tell them all their business obviously but I want them to understand what you know made these people really love this property mm-hmm. and they um at least go away with that sense, you know? Um, I think that's so important that you give the lifestyle and the why. Right. You know, it's not the what. Okay, I'm looking for four bedrooms. Yes. I'm looking (laughs) for a three-car garage. Okay, that's the what. Yeah. But why am I looking for this? And why am I looking for that? Yeah. You know, and getting to that part of the relationship is where you make things happen. And that's really the key is building the relationship. Yeah. I mean, anybody can probably do real estate, Mm -hmm. you know, if you, if you can basically do that and you have the ability to pass tests and whatever, but I am not, I'm kind of the opposite because I don't think of it just as a transaction. Mm -hmm. I do think of it as a relationship. Yeah. And I love my clients. I want them to, you know, I'm a mama bear, so I want them to have the best experience (laughs) in the world. And we go away, you know, everybody being happy at the end of the day. And that's, you know, that's what I've been able to achieve, thankfully. But, yeah, really coming, you know, through this pandemic, it's been amazing to watch, you know, people just um, seek me out and ask, you know, Mm -hmm. for my help. And, of course, I'm never going to turn anybody down, you know. Uh But I even feel bad, you know, when when you're doing like a lease listing or something and you have people calling and, you know, really needing a place to live. I mean, Mm -hmm. I just, it breaks my heart sometimes to tell them, no, you know, this isn't going to match, you know, with with your particular background. Because I would like to be able to serve everybody, you know, and help them um, in whatever capacity I have. But, you know, right now there's a very tight market going on. Um, a lot of people are, you know, I've got some buyers, I've got some people that want to list, but they are worried about being able to find, you know, the next thing. And, Mm. you know, so there's, um, some angst around that and, you know, you just do your best to talk them through it and then let them decide which direction they want to go. Um, but yeah, I feel like that, you know, hopefully we'll ease up in the next few months. We, we had that come on, you know, of course in the last few months and just seeing the more, you know, the additional inventory coming to the market is starting to kind of alleviate some of that because they are feeling like they're, okay, at least there's more options, you know, right. it's not like just the one and then that's it in that area, yeah. you know, yeah. and um, there were a few weeks of that, but yeah, I'm writing a lot of offers and, you know, that's just awesome. trying to get the people under contract, helping them if they're a buyer and then if they're a listing, then you know, just putting that out there, making sure they have, you know, I have really good contacts in the photography world, Mm -hmm. you know, really being, I consider myself like a quarterback. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm the hub. I have to know a lot of different disciplines within real estate. And I take a lot of pride in kind of like knowing those folks and then whittling down that list, you know, because not everybody has the same, um, I guess, focus on serving as I do. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of a driver on that. <laughs> you know, I, I have a high expectation. And if you don't, then you probably won't be on my list of people that can, you know, treat, you know, serve my clients. Because there's there's just um, a, a lot of people that really need that help. They don't know much about the process. Right. 
Right. And we're all there to educate and make sure they know exactly, you know, what it educate takes. Educate and connect. Yeah. You know, I mean, we have this thing that we share when our, in our CE classes, and it's called the real estate um, wheel. Mm-hmm. To cool. really show, I need to give it to you. Yeah. Because it actually puts it into a picture of what you do. And all of the agencies that you're dealing with right. To get one house sold. Now exactly. You're, you know, and it's like people think, oh, you just put a sign up in yeah. the front and then, you know, you put the list price and then everything goes fine, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. But now it's like the real work starts when it goes under contract. And yes. now I've got in this amount of time, I've got to deal with all of this. That's right. You know, and that's where we say as home staging that we want to partner with you so that you can deal with this. Yes. And we deal with how the home looks. Right. You know, because you so great. are getting paid to list and sell houses. That's right. And to take them through, this was, I love this analogy. It was on the Rat Pack one time and the realtor that was on, um, he used this analogy. He said, as a realtor, I'm like the pilot of the plane. And I tell my customers that, you know, mostly it's gonna be a smooth ride, but we're gonna hit some turbulence. Right. You know, but I'm still driving the plane and we're gonna get through that turbulence and continue on. That's right. And then I'm going to bring you to that soft landing and we're going to close this house or whatever, you know. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I love that yes. analogy because that's really what you guys are. It is. You are the pilot. Mm -hmm. Yes, there could be, there's going to be some issues, you know, whether it's in the inspection or right. it's in the appraisal or the, whatever it is. There will be some issues. That's life. Yes. Um, we weren't promised a perfect life. No. Okay. But we're going to get through it, and we're going to get through it together. And that's why you hire yeah. Deborah, you know, right. because you are that customer service driven person that knows the industry and what right. it takes to get that house sold. And having that kind of ability to um, stay calm under pressure yeah. and, and let them know you've got it. Having yeah. a certain level of self-confidence to be able to ease them mm -hmm. and still get it done on the other right. side. It's right. There's a balance there because, you know, when you first come in and you don't know, it's a little bit of a panic because you're like, well, I don't know who to call. I don't know what to do. You know, right. a lot of questions, you know, like, well, how do we make this, you know, a smooth ride, right? Mm -hmm. But after you get into it for a little while, I mean, there is, you know, a, I mean, there's a distinct way to make that happen mm -hmm. and to keep everybody calm and make sure, you know, I've got this for you. You know, we are going to get there. I don't want you to worry about that. I had a client that was VA, mm -hmm. and you know she had served 16 years and um, just phenomenal. You know, was working really hard. She's also a business owner, um, and I just was like, okay, you know, we're gonna get there. We're gonna do this thing. You know, and she, I mean, she was under contract, and and the great thing that happened was that her her the other agent and I had a really good relationship. And so I knew, you know, in working with that other agent that we were going to get there. Like, you know, there were some moments where you're like, oh, really, you know, already. But no, I mean, I could confidently say, hey, I know that we're all on the same page. The sellers are on that page and you and I are on that same page. We all are going to the same, you know, ending here. And it's just a few weeks away, you know, and so... She stayed the course, and she's in that beautiful home today. And that so, awesome. matter of fact, you might need to get in touch with her. <laughs> well, she, we'd love to help her. She, you know, she's, awesome. a, she's definitely probably a client you may need to meet. <laughs> well, we may, we would love that. We always love referrals, just yeah, like you guys exactly. love referrals. You know, but it's using your creativity yeah. sometimes that will close that deal. You know, right. and it's like thinking outside That's the right. box because not every there's no cookie cutter on how no. to close a house. Nope. You know, we have to negotiate. We have to think about different things and um, and just, and communicate. Yeah, and you know, some I think the other thing is is if you have had any experience <laughs> in life period mm -hmm. and you like, I consider myself a platter person. Okay, so I am spinning a lot of platters at any given day because uh -huh. I I'm that kind of a mom. I'm that kind of a wife. I'm that kind of a you know businesswoman. I have a lot going on on any given day, and there's multiple spin, you know, platters yeah. spinning constantly, um, with things, you know, having to do with my children, things to, having to do with my transactions, and you know, my different, uh, you know, things going on with our home. We've got projects going on, you know, just all of that, mm -hmm. and um, a husband that travels for work, you know, and so you've got all this going on, all the coordination, but still being able to be successful, you know, in your professional job is. Yeah. There's a balance to that, you know, okay. and you have to make sure that, you know, you keep the faith, you know, and that you keep um, 
focused in my case on you know my ultimate goal which is to serve you know and at the end of the day that's what I'm doing it for so amen anyway I love that and I love your heart on that because that's how we are you know it's like yes Lord we really want you know we want to be successful right but how do you be successful it's not by looking at the dollars no it's by looking at the service yeah and the opportunities to serve and make a difference in one another's lives my motto is honor God and serve others you know Amen. and I just make that. sure that that's really the core because the rest of it will come yeah you know I know it will I, I'm yeah. proof that it does you know so num true. numerous times but just having that kind of focus and uh, mentality and then also you know the faith behind it to mm -hmm. know that um, you know no get no day is get is a promise you okay. know and whatever you can do to give back and serve um, and bless someone else you that's know the way. that's the way I have to ask you have you been to Honor Cafe in Conroe no oh I've gosh. been to Victory Pie over you in Magnolia to, you <laughs> have to go to Honor Cafe I've heard um, of this but where, down, where is this it's right downtown it's near the okay. court system it is the okay. safest place <laughs> you will ever be. It is very well packed. That's um, <laughs> cute. That's cute. But again, where's their heart? Yeah. It's for our service people and um, Love it. and the food is delicious. So okay. Just well, I will have to try there. that. Yeah. Um, it is really, really good. My husband's taken me there a few times and oh my gosh, I can't say enough for it. It is awesome cool. and then i guess at lunchtime there's just it's judges and policemen really and firemen wow. and veterans and oh it's i'll definitely just have to go there awesome and they have a little museum and everything How fun. Um, so it is it's very very yeah fun. see the one out in magnolia is um off of tamina road and okay. they are the same kind oh, of their oh, own oh, you know by veteran they, is it where um where the little fish and chips is too yes on Tamina? Okay. i think so yeah okay. and there's a pizza place yes yes yeah. yes yes yeah that's um, all and they on have Tamina. like a little on saturday yeah they have a little flea market they and do everything. yeah yeah the fish and chips Farmer's at market, the little yeah. place is delicious too oh my that's gosh. right at the front i think yeah okay. it's like very very english london yes like fish and chips so good well the <laughs> other place is right next door okay it's just on so the Victory other side Cafe. of the courtyard and oh. they do all kinds of pies and okay. desserts and breakfast and I think they serve all day, but I we've gone we've there for a few times. There. I have to go. We'll have to go back, but yeah. we do love going there. So. Yes. Anyway, we'll have to get out there. What do you love most about Houston, Magnolia? Well, I grew up in Spring. Okay. You know, my dad, like I said, was a football coach um, Which in school? Spring and Spring High School and Nimitz okay. High School, and okay. then we were in San Antonio for ten years before that. So, um, you know, I grew up here, and you know, been in the North Side, and then as I yeah, I guess, you know, went off to, to A&M. Mm -hmm. It's close to, you know, A&M. And so I just think for me, there's a down home feel, you mm -hmm. know, with the folks and, you know, people that, um, I don't know, for me, just the, the community is beautiful. I mean, we've got the trees, the scenery, mm -hmm. you know, all of that on this side of town. I show everywhere from Crosby all the way around to Katy, you mm -hmm. know, and beyond full sure and all of that. But you know, I've, I've sold houses in all of those, but I just, I tend to, you know, I live in the north side of town mm -hmm. myself in Magnolia. We decided to move out there um, eight years ago. Okay. So we've lived there for eight years and, you know, we're going to stay in this area because, you know, this is a great place to raise our children. Mm -hmm. We have an acre of land and, um, you know, we made that decision last year to just, because um, of course I'm a realtor. I get to look at this all day, every day, right? <laughs> I can find any house I ever wanted, right? But the thing was, you know, when you kind of always have that, am I going to, you know, am I going to move? We're going to move. We're going to move. It was always, you know, almost like a pressure, mm -hmm. you know, and, and at some point it was like during the pandemic, we actually were sitting there and we're like, you know what? Let's just stay here. Let's just stay what a concept. here. I mean, why not? You know, like we have a beautiful home on land with a, you know, pond in the back with a pool. I mean, what more can you want? Right. And then when you put down your roots, there's something to that. You know, yeah. it's a pressure that's let off. And then you just focus on improving your home, making sure you maintain your home. Right. And you keep up, you know, the paint and the mm -hmm. things about this home, making sure your projects are, you know, every year you lay out your projects that you want to do. But then, you know, you will have a great investment, you know, right. down the road. Right. And I, I know that our area is continuing to, you know, grow as far as you know the home prices and all that but still I mean we have these three precious children and it's like the perfect home so why would we need to go anywhere else so and for me you know that stability too. yeah they crave that they you do know, that stability 
So it, it's nice, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's great for some of them that learn to move all the time. But yeah. it also, it makes them independent. But there's also, it's nice mm-hmm. when it's just like, this is my room. Stability, this yeah. This is my home. Yes. You know? and, yeah. Yeah. And they uh, haven't lived, you know, we moved there when the twins were 11 months old. So they so haven't they, really known anything home. else. Yeah, they don't know where else you could go. But, um, you know, they go to houses with me and they get to see different homes. And so, you know, it's not that they don't know that there are other ho- houses out there. But, you know, I just keep telling them, Listen, this is our house and we love this house. Yeah. And, you know, um, we're going to stay here. But when you, you know, I don't know, when you have a... A situation like in our case I'm I'm from spring but my husband is from the Midwest and so you know he was kind of open to whatever we need to do you know and we he originally lived in the Cypher side of town Mm -hmm. um, Cypress kind of near Cypress area and so when you have um, you know two different I've lived inside the loop Mm -hmm. I've you know worked downtown I mean I've been all over the town yeah I worked in Sugarland at times I mean I've worked in the Get Greens Point and Woodlands you know I've worked all over town so I had a real, you know, extensive breadth of what Houston has to offer, you know. And, you know, of course, we, we met in a sports bar. <laughs> so, so we love the sports community as well, you know. And so that was um, always being the coach's daughter, hello. Uh-huh. Um, that, you know, is innate inside of me. But, yeah, just having the opportunity, you know, to, to do stuff in our community and then, and then see these kids, you know, stay in a school that they can be yeah. in through eighth grade and, and that's it you yeah know, build, they're building relationships like you're building relationships right and that's a real secure thing it is you have that yes so that is awesome my husband and i met at dick's last resort oh right? yeah <laughs> so that was similar right a restaurant right <laughs> i told that's I always fun. Tell him he was gym number three at my last resort so <laughs> I like that. Anyway, Deborah, how can people get in touch with you? Okay, so my phone number is 832-541-8732. And you can reach me uh, through an email at Deborah, D-E-B-O-R-A-H-P, Realtor, R-E-A-L-T-O-R, at gmail.com. And uh, you can also text me. I'm, I'm pretty much one of those crazy agents that's available, you know, 24 hours a day. I know that doesn't mm-hmm. sound right to some people. But uh, like I said, I like to serve. And so if I have my phone and I'm accessible, unless I'm kind of on a cruise in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> I'm probably going to be writing you back or accessible. Uh, my clients know I that. I love it. I love it. I just had, a, we were just down in Mexico and one of my clients texted me and I'm like, oh yeah, I can take care of that. Da, da, da. I'm in Mexico this week. She's like, why are you responding? I'm I like, know. They don't okay, understand I'm it all fine. the time. But. I can just respond. I'm sitting here on the exactly. beach. Exactly. You know? Yeah. I'm not doing That's anything. how I feel too. I'm so, like, you know, I'm here to serve. And exactly. if, if this works out for my schedule, if it didn't, I would let you know. Right. <laughs> I'm exactly. going to be the first to tell exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> so. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's and been awesome. Houston, we love you. And if you have any questions about home staging or interior design or do you need a great realtor, Deborah is here to serve. Um, give us a call at 877 458 8254 or you can jo- join us on our website, simpleelegancetx.com. Wonderful. Bye bye. <laughs>